Hi, this is Nix, and today we're going to be trying to build a room using only or mostly Sims 4 build hacks or tips and tricks from TikTok. Alrighty, so we're going to be starting off with the one that every Sims 4 build hacks TikToker has probably ever put in one of their videos, which is Control Shift plus C, because that is how you put in sheets for the Sims 4, and you can't build without sheets. And I mean, you can, but it's not as good. <laughs> but anyway like i was saying you can't build without cheats in the sims 4 so let's start off with that and then i mean you actually gotta be able to use the cheats so the next one you put in is testing cheats true and then after that they usually tell you to put in bb that move objects so you can actually move things mostly anywhere in the build um bb that show hidden objects so you can see all the debug stuff and then bb dot show live edit objects again it just unlocks more stuff so you should be able to view and then some people might tell you to put in uh the ignore unlocks thing which allows you to use things that you usually get from careers so they're all in very important things that you can use for building just to give you more options and things to build with so it is good advice even though they probably all have done it before <laughs> But let's go ahead and watch our first video. So this one is by Let's Build Houses and she's just using platforms to create this little circle in the middle of the room and then lowering it. She moves it to try to reduce the gap and then places it back. And once she was done decorating, she adds a fence around it for privacy and to cover any remaining gap. All right, so let's try it. Now I have tested this earlier and we are going to be using the flat round floor pieces instead because it doesn't make sense to use the platform because that's just another layer that you have to like lower so it don't make sense but anyway now let's duplicate our little floor and move it but i just want to build the room and make sure there's not a large gap and that the platform is pretty much where i want it once i place it in the room now, there's a couple things I didn't mention earlier. I think she lowered the platform by three, so that's what I did. And I wanna say that we are trying to build an entire living room using TikTok videos. So we are just, so we are gonna be watching uh, multiple videos to design our living room. It'll be available for download in the gallery since I won't be using NECC. Anyway, adding the platform to the room got rid of our ceiling. So we'll just add a room above that and then I'll add some lights. I think I'm getting better at adding them early on in builds. Maybe. <laughs> now for the final touch, the fence around the platform. But I'm thinking of, but I'm thinking instead of a fence, let's use half walls. I think it would blend better with the room and give you more color options. Now, if you shift click the walls when putting them down, Make sure you go back and fix your outer walls. It took me a second to realize that it deleted my outer walls. Um, yeah. Also, when trying to add paint to the half walls, make sure to do that early on because this is a circular uh, build here. Well, this is a circular thing. And you know, circular anything circular in The Sims 4 is finicky. So if you wait till you have decorations on your walls, when you're trying to place or paint the half walls, the decorations will likely disappear because circular stuff is just that messed up in The Sims. Or you might not be able to get every piece of the half wall in the platform part. So just be careful with that. Anyway, let's go ahead and replace our walls and place our stairs. I don't know which stairs she had, but we're gonna go for these ones, I guess. I don't know if it was those were the stairs she had. I don't know, but these are the stairs we have. At least the ones that we are putting up here now. That's all. all right, and then duplicate it and put it on the other side. Boom, there we go, fantastic. All right, and then we gotta pick a sofa. So I think we need a sofa without arms to make it fit together. So this is a good option. We have this one as an option. We got all these dream home decorator ones. It's not as big though. And I kind of want something where I ain't got to fill in as much. So we might go with the university sofa. Okay. So let's change the color. I don't ever go with orange. So this is going to be orange. I think that's what hers was, was orange. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. That's not terrible. So for the rest of this stuff, 
Oh, we're probably gonna need the tool mod to kind of fix it. Oh, let's see if they have a uh, little seats to go with it. All right, so we found the seats. So I know there are seats that go with this. And honestly, we'll probably need the tool mod. So I'll just go ahead and I'll add all these chairs over here. And I'll get back to you after I'm done basically rotating all these chairs with the tool mod. Yeah, all right, so I have finally gotten all these chairs positioned as best I am, or as, as best as I am going to. Yes, I could have done a little better with this corner over here, but it'll be okay. Now, what I have done with these pillows, they're actually bar stools that I repositioned with the tool mod, which I saw from another TikTok. I don't have it, so I can't show it to you, sorry. And I did the same thing with these chairs. I think they are from the high school pack. I like that they were fur looking chairs. So I wanted that on my couch. Anyway, let's watch our next video. This one is by Maeve Place. And, be, and basically she is just taking a regular coffee table and rotating it by one to create a big circular one. I honestly never thought of doing this. So I think it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, she also places some smaller tables down and scales down a, du a duplicate of the table for some more options even more coffee table options you know anyway we're gonna try that in the sims so let's pick a coffee table um i guess this one will do all right let's just keep rotating it by one i actually really like how the design under the table comes together but i don't know if i like this color we probably should have picked a color we liked before placing it instead of having to fix it now but you know it is what it is we can try to pick a color that matches the pillows i guess there will be a little flickering but that's okay Ooh, that's um bright i don't usually uh make bright rooms but we'll let this be so there's another video i saw involving a laptop and a katatsu table i apologize if i am pronouncing it incorrectly so let's watch the next one. This one is from Makehead13. So basically she is just taking a Kotatsu table and size it down and then adding a laptop on it. And it's supposed to be usable by The Sims. So let's try that in game. I have no idea where you find this. So we just gonna type it in. and uh, we want this laptop yeah we want that laptop it's sufficient and then we size the table down you know bracket keys bracket keys they love telling you about brackets and i think our table is too i think our laptop is too high up so i think in her video she sized the coffee table down i'm not about to size all these coffee tables down we are just so so we're just gonna have to move our katasso table up okay and get the laptop in place with the tool mod uh you actually want to elevate the table a little bit because i because i don't know if you elevate just the laptop it would it still be functional so let's just elevate the table a little bit here all right so great our laptop is no longer floating in the air nor is it playing some weird game of pickaboo with the table anymore and we can test if this actually works in the end like if the sims can actually use it in the end all right so let's find some more tiktok videos to help me fill in the space because i am not the most creative let's see what we get okay so this is by simmers talk and i thought it was a nice way to take up some space basically they just add a window to a forward wall i don't know what you call that but they break up the wallpaper a bit and add some counters at the sides and add some shelves I think this looks similar enough to a real living room. Maybe not the terrarium bit though, but let's go ahead and try all of that. First, let's add the walls. A oh, boom, 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 boom. Now make sure this wall isn't too close to the stairs cause it'll cause the stairs to rise up when adding the platform. All right, let's fix this wall. And I believe she raised the platform by three. So there we go. I guess we'll make the terrarium next. I just used some grass from Island Living and some odds and ends. But recently, uh, somebody was talking about the lizards from Bakey Sims. Bakey has a lot of actual really cool creatures that you can add to your game. So definitely check, check her out. I mean, check out their uh, Mod The Sims page. They have actually a lot of really cool things that you can add to your Sim builds. But 
they was talking about her lizard specifically at that time that I'm thinking of. And you can add them to the this terrarium if you would like, because you can't actually do anything with them. Oh, I wanted something a little different for the window. So I used the one with the red trim. I know it's not genius or anything, but you know, I don't typically use red trim windows. But anyways, I have gone ahead and added the rest of the walls and the counters. And instead of using shelves, I use bookcases because they are already partially cluttered and they already have shelves on them. They fit perfectly in these little slots on the side of the walls. And um, did I mention that they're already partially decorated? Because they are, and I don't have to do anything extra. I know that sounds incredibly lazy, but look, I don't like sitting there trying to take the sign for all that clutter up there, okay? But seriously though, there is more space we can fill. So let's watch another video. So this one is by Sims Remodel and they are just building a bathroom under some stairs. Now you do have to make sure to elevate the stairs, which I forgot you can do, but yeah, the premise is just a room under the stairs and we can do that. We can do that. So I had to remember how to elevate the stairs <laughs> and make sure it was positioned in the correct way. You do have to be careful with stairway rooms because um, they don't always function. It's just something about the way stairs work in the sims it don't always allow you to function like the stuff to function there so we'll test it in the end i'll try to see if i can if the, if it actually works but basically i'm just building a bathroom under the stairs this is the final look of my bathroom and um yeah let's move on <laughs> like let's move on all right so we are going to look at one more TikTok video to figure out what we're going to do with this corner over here now this one is by sweet simlish well they just take these platforms raise the back one by two and the front one by one to create this cozy reading nook now it should help add something a little bit interesting something else interesting to the room so i'm going to use some simple fencing to create the outline because i'm not really sure what she used in her video but this is what i'm going to use in mine um so I'm raising the back part by two and the front part by one. Now I believe she used the sofa from the pet pack to have the drawers under it. I don't know which one of the, the pet stuff, whichever, which, which, I don't know which pet sh pack she used for it, but one of them I know has the drawers in it. Um, but I use something different. So I have already created this. So I'm just gonna show you the final product cause that took me too long to build. I'm sorry, it took me too long. So this, is what i originally decorated it's way too much stuff in it and the walls was closer to this platform so i know the bookshelf is floating a little bit but i'm about to fix all this by plopping down this entire room like because i've already built this whole room already so i was just showing that you know that you can make all this stuff from the six top videos but i know i just want to put my own little spin on it but after i plop down this whole room you can see how i designed it and then we can play test it because i have not done that yet look because i haven't done it yet so we can all play test that together okay all right Alrighty, we are back so we are going to do a really quick little room tour because you can't call it a house but we're gonna do a really quick little room tour so here we go boom i think it looks pretty decent right like is it like overly cluttered to a certain extent yes but that's okay all right so this is our little sofa area put a little clutter up there i think that's decent i mean the, the couch still look a little empty but you know it's a couch like what you supposed to do with it that's our little library like nook little area our little bookcases put this little area together here i thought this was cute i thought that was cute um i didn't show y'all that little area over there let's put some lights behind this little uh leaf thing and i don't know some stuff from home decorator kit i put a little alcohol thing back here I try to make it look like it was a little thing that that half opened so yeah and then this is our bathroom under the stairs i think it looks decent 
Like, does this painting really, really blend in? Probably not. Is this what we have? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> but is that what we have? Yeah, it is. I don't know why one side is higher, it's higher than the other. I have to fix it because this thing went too far down, so I have to fix that. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it for the tour. Let's just make sure that everything is usable by our Sims. All right. So we're going to have our Sim that I, it, it, my randomly generated Sim. She's going to go ahead and try to use the computer. Look, she's going to try to use the computer. Oops, let's see if she can okay she can it does put out the kotatsu cover but she can use a computer and that's all we needed her to be able to do was we'll sit there and be able to use it great all right let's see if she can watch tv from here i highly doubt she could well she can she can watch tv from the floor i'm impressed i'm impressed she was able to watch tv i really thought they was gonna be like this is too low too far away from the tv love it okay great freaking fantastic um let's see if she can go to the bathroom um i can't even see the bathroom oh i'm on the wrong floor but i can't even see the bathroom okay now let's see if she can go to the bathroom stop watching tv girl <laughs> okay i don't think the bathroom is usable now i can tell you this right now i have tried um moving things i've tried let's see if i can like i don't know if it's, it's something about the flooring or just being in there that just don't work like it just knows I can't even like shift click my sim over there. I think even if you add it as a real wall, um, it's not happy. Like it doesn't fix the problem. Like let's say if you make this into a wall here, I don't, it doesn't fix the problem. All right, so I've put up a real wall. Let's see if that makes a, any difference at all. It doesn't. Um, <clears throat> like I put up a wall here, it didn't make any difference at all. Let me see if we delete the door, if that makes a difference. If we just put like an archway like this one, I'll pick, I'll put one over here to see if that make a difference. Maybe it depends on what side of the room it's on. Okay, use. I don't think it's gonna make a difference at all yeah no um yeah it's just it just does not function unfortunately but you have a bathroom downstairs for just for some reason it won't allow the sims to go in there if anybody knows what uh i've done wrong or why sims aren't allowed to use the this bathroom let me know because i ain't got a clue look because i don't have a clue but everything else up in here everything else in here functions look everything else in the room obviously functions she got she got her little laptop she can watch her tv uh the terrarium is plainer than the one i did earlier because the second one i did was actually just better than this one so sorry but you can fix that if you would like and that's pretty much it um thank you all for being here again um i think i want to try to add on to this house with more tiktok videos so hopefully we'll be able to build a whole house by the end of this thank you guys for being here let me know if you want to see more of this type of thing where we build rooms with tiktok from tiktok videos um thank you all for taking the time to watch this video i appreciate you all and i hope you all are doing well until next time take care of yourselves bye